Brian Williams, five-star receiver, committed, decommitted, and recommitted back to Alabama. Y'all know I like Joel Clatt, and we about to rock out with him today. Let's check it out. Bama seems to have stopped the bleeding. Um, it and by stop the bleeding, he means, I mean, you, you already know, Alabama has lost a lot of players in the wake of Nick Saban leaving. Like, Nick Saban leaving has changed everything for Alabama. Everything. When I say everything, they, they, they're they losing top 20, 23 prospects. I mean, really good players. Uh, Caleb Downs, Caden Proctor, really good players. And young, really good players to Ohio State, Iowa. They, they got uh, veterans leaving. Some people declared for the draft, obviously, but uh, losing a lot of players. But, 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 they did get this kid to recommit. It wasn't pretty. It was pretty chaotic after Nick Saban retired. And again, that's a uh, five star, five star plus wide receiver. Uh, Ryan Williams tells tells me he has canceled his visit to Auburn and has officially shut down his recruitment. The top five recruit in the 2024 class committed to the Crimson Tide earlier this evening. Williams will sign his NLI or NL, yeah, NLI in February on 3.com by DB Ryan, Ryan Williams, whatever. Uh, so, hey man, there it is. There it is. I mean, do y'all think, do y'all think it was a money thing? Do y'all think, uh, the board gave him an extra little check or something like that? What y'all think? Or was, was it really just, a, I'm, I'm rocking with, 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 with DeBoer? Was he, did he, did he come a little check? Y'all let me know. That's what you find now is that it's going to be chaotic for any team that decides to change their coach. And yet they seem to have, have circled the wagons, if you will. And if you don't know, whenever a, at least from my understanding, and let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or not. If you don't know, whenever a head coach is fired, retired, whatever, the players have a 30 day window to enter the portal or do whatever they got to do. So, just, just well, that's why in the wake of Nick Saban leaving, you saw a, a plethora, a copious amount, to use the SAT words, uh, into the portal. I'm gonna let it keep playing. I'm my bad. And calmed down. Alabama gets their five star wide receiver, Ryan Williams. He recommitted. If you remember that after the news that Saban was gonna retire, he decommitted and now has recommitted and will be at Alabama. He was the number five overall player in 2024, according to 24-7 Composite. Um, Bama was, I don't want to say they were in a spiral, but there was a bit of panic, right? I think there was, it was eye-opening for everyone around the country, maybe even Bama fans that were like, oh man, this can even happen to us when Caleb Downs walks out the door and Caden Proctor walks out the door and Isaiah Bond walks out the door and their highly touted quarterback recruit, Julian Sayan, he walks out all after the Saban retirement. But now the bleeding is stopped and now Kalen DeBoer can take a little bit of a deep breath and he can go, okay, I get Ryan Williams. And by the way, if you're Ryan Williams, why wouldn't you want to go play for Kalen DeBoer? Look at what he just did with Roma Donze and, and McMillan and Polk. I mean, in a lot of ways, you know, Alabama should be getting some of the best wide receivers in the country. But now what it does is it sets up a huge spring because guess what? Kalen DeBoer is not out of the woods yet, nor are any of these coaches that are in their first spring in their new spot because there's still going to be a spring transfer portal period. Okay, so this spring is going to be a huge test for DeBoer and this team at Alabama. All right, are they buying what he's selling? Is he authentic? By the way, that goes for Sharon Moore. It goes for Jed Fish. It goes for any of these, Mike Elko, any of these guys in these new spots. Are you authentic? What's spring football like? We're going to find out at all of these places because there's another spring transfer portal period where the players can jump in and leave. Okay, so not out of the woods yet. DeBoer now has to be authentic, and he's got to have a good spring. We're going to learn a lot about how spring goes down at Bama uh, by how it kind of they react, if you will, to that spring transfer portal. So there you have it, folks. Nick Saban's exit changed everything, but... They did get Ryan Williams 